going on, brothers? It's Lyman Terry with the name. Got an interview for you. It's your title. You're a chameleon. Part four. Here goes. So, for the past two and a half weeks, the feminists have been awfully silent. And there have been a lot of trolls and ditch pigs on social media who are now pretending that feminism never happened. A lot of them are speaking sideways about feminism. You got a, a few of them who were pretending to be 1950s housewives and doing a, a shitty job at it. I mean, the whole thing is laughable, it's stupid. But they're doing this because a lot of them are feeling a desperation right now. They can't pay for their gas, their food is expensive, and they need the stepdad, they need the custodian, they need a useful tool to run back to the plantation, wipe them up, and have him part with his resources. Like the one slow headed Cleon bitch said, I don't bring nothing to the table, but I'm taking your money. Yeah, fuck that. Let me tell you something, brothers. These trollops have pretty much proven that they are immoral. They're loathsome, they're underhanded, and it doesn't matter how lawless they are, you're supposed to always run and catch them before they face plant. Well, those days are finished. They're gone. And they know it's gone because otherwise they wouldn't be talking sideways about feminism. But here's the problem with that. They can say all day that they're against feminism, but they're not going to get any of these laws changed. They're not going to change the laws. Are they going to stop hamstringing men in divorce court? Are they going to stop killing their children? Are they going to stop listening to these ethots and these Jezebels like Cardi B? who coached them on how to rob men when they're asleep? Are they going to stop doing that shit? Absolutely not. You see, it's nothing but lip service. And lip service means jack shit. Actions speak louder than words. And a lot of them are finding out the hard way. And I don't feel sorry for them. Their calamity, their misfortune, their hardships were all self-inflicted. And now they just got to live with the consequences. Now, if you think that this whole speaking sideways about feminism or pretending to be 1950s housewives is their only tactics, that's not it. They're going to do more and... They're going to pull more loathsome underhanded shit. And it's up to us to point it out. That's right, brothers. It's up to us to point it out. There'll be more legal there will be more snares and traps. There'll be more chicken shit maneuvers. And one thing that you're gonna to have to look out for too is the rise of these women all of a sudden becoming pugnophiles. If you don't know what a pugnophile is, a pugnophile is a person who likes beards. Now that right there should be a red flag to you, brothers, because 20 years ago, women did not like beards at all. If anything, 20 years ago, everybody was clean shaven. It, the, the, the whole metrosexual look was in. But today they're pugnophiles. They like, men's, they like men with beards. <laughs> nice try. Brothers, stay safe, stay vigilant during these perilous times. These trolls. These bitch made sims, these ditch pigs, and these flightless birds just gonna get more and more desperate. And you owe it to yourself to stay safe this, during these perilous times, brothers. It's gonna get harder. But because you prep for it, because you are accustomed to dealing with hardships, you can be able to weather the storm, but not these trollops. I know your gas is high, but it's also part of the plan. Because after all, 
certain individuals can't sell electric cars if gas is cheap. They can't do it. This was all staged. It was planned. Stay safe, brothers. Keep your hell and soul during these perilous times. And as for these chameleons, as for these thoughts, these flightless birds, and these ditch pigs who are pretending to be on the opposite side of all your arguments, the ones who talk sideways about feminism, the ones who pretend to be your friend or they say they don't like you but they still watch your videos and rub off your verbiage, lock them out. Mm-hmm. Mess it like I'm getting perfected. You gotta do that, brothers. This is a lot of me tell. That's all I got. If you like the video, like, share, and comment here. Feel free to subscribe. If you're enjoying this, my channel, you find tip jar on the upper right inside the screen. This is the icon. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know drill. You know what's going on with me. That's why I As for these ditch pigs, these trollops, these desperate chameleons, and those who are obsessed with trying to get you to come back to the plantation so that you can part with your resources and help them, give them nothing. This is Mictow PSA. Welcome to the state. See you soon.